Go. Hi, my name is Lauren, and my question is, will the world really end in 2012? There are many theories at the about the world ending in 2012. You hear it in the paper, in the news, and there's even a movie called 2012. Will the world really end in 2012? Well, I guess you find out. This is my first theory. Will a planet hit Earth? A planet called Nibiru was discovered by the Sumerians, was supposedly heading toward Earth. Nibiru was supposed to hit in May 2003, but when it didn't hit, the new doomsday date was rescheduled for December 2012. This theory seems unlikely because if it didn't hit the first time, I mean, it probably won't hit the second time. Second theory is called the polar shift theory. The polar shift theory basically means that the Earth's crust would shift and North and South Pole would be like reversed. For example, if you held a, let's say let's say you have had a compass and you pointed it south and south instead of the compass saying south, it would say north. Apparently, if this were to happen, some major catastro catastrophe would ha happen and result in the world ending. Even though a magnetic reversal is unlikely to happen in the next few millennia. Third theory: Will we get hit by a giant meteor? The last meteor that hits a that hit was 65 million, 65 million years ago, which, yes, led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. This, there is a huge crater in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The crater was more than 1, 110 miles in diameter. So if, this were to, so if this were to happen, that would be about the size of the crater would leave if we survived, or even bigger. But never fear, astronomers are here. And they predict that there are no threatening asteroids hitting toward Earth. And this is my fourth theory. Um, it's called solar flares slash solar storms. Some people worry about a giant solar flare happening. A solar flare is when magnetic energy builds up in the solar atmosphere and is suddenly released. The biggest solar flare on record is in 1859. Astronomers say that supposedly that the sun has been sort of hibernating for four or five years, and now that the sun is waking up. Some people might say that Space weather doesn't affect us, and some people say the opposite. For me, I think the world won't end in 2012. I mean, some people are really creeped out by this whole thing, but not really for me. And truth is, we're not going anywhere for, anywhere for a while. And if you see 2012, Wisconsin survives! See you guys in 2013. The end.